Hey guys, this is Evacuo, ex listener, ex Toroki. I hope you enjoy. Um, I have a warning. At the beginning of this video, it's gonna be a little sad, but I promise it has a happy ending. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. And yeah, enjoy the video. Life seems good. You have an awesome boyfriend, an amazing group of friends. What could else you ask for? Well, it was all good till early this morning. Your boyfriend, Baku, was laying in bed with you at his arm, and he said, Iran, I need to go. Mr. Isawa needs me for some paperwork. You will be okay? You will get nodded and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Of course, go. I will be fine. He gave you a smile and headed out the door. You headed to your dorm to change, and in a way, you encountered to Rocky. You wake up him. Hey, how are you? Hey, Yuan. What are you doing early this morning? You could swear you see a faint blush, but you think you're over-exaggerating. You gave him a quick smile and said, I was just heading to my dorm, don't worry about me. He nodded and continued to walk to the boys' bathroom. When you enter your dorm, you flap on your bed and look through your phone to see early notifications and other things. You quickly change to your uniform and at your door it was Ida, Midoriya and Toroki. You ask, Hey, where is the Rebecca? She is always here. The green haired boy answered, I don't know, Yuan. She must be here. Ida also shook his head, and Toroki just sighed. You guys started heading to school, and you encountered the Baku squad and other of your classmates. They were all decided to go to the cafeteria before, but you and your friends had to go to the classroom. When you opened the door, you dropped your bar. You felt your heart sunk. Yeah, your boyfriend had to do paperwork, if paperwork meant Uraraka. He was making out with Uraraka in the teacher's desk. When they saw you, he said, Wait, Yuan, it's not what it looks like, I promise, I love you. Uraraka was quickly covering her lips, trying not to look at you. You were mad, you said, You motherfucker. You were stumbling towards Bakugo, and he was going mad. Everyone knew when you got mad, you were to go out of control, and the effects weren't really your problem after that. Baku said, Okay, listen to me, Yuan. This never meant to happen. I love you with all my heart. Please, just listen to me. Oh, don't give me that excuse, Baku Katsugi. I know what you were doing. With my best friend? Seriously? With Uraraka Chako? Please. Uraraka quickly grabbed her stuff and went up, tried to get out of the room. You said, Oh, no, you're not going anywhere. What a fake best friend you are. Please, you are supposed to have my back. Your voice was quivering. You were about to cry. You stormed out of the classroom and quickly tore Rocky chase after you. He said, You and what are you right? I know that thing was disturbing. You flopped into Toroki's arms and started sobbing and crying, screaming names and things you shouldn't. Toroki softly spoke and said, Come on, Juan, I will take you back to my dorm. He carried you right as well to the dorms. You were embarrassed because most of the students were leaving their dorms to go to classes, but you were told Rocky will apparently skip since you were crying and he didn't like seeing you like this. You quickly entered Toroki's dorm and he gave you one of his hoodies. You changed into it and he said, You are I'm so sorry. You're an amazing girl. You don't deserve this. You gave him another hug and stayed there a while. He continues. Bakugo is just an asshole. Don't let him get to you. He doesn't deserve you. He never did. I don't know why you dated him in the first place. You let on a chuckle and said, Because I like him? No, I love him. I'm an idiot. You awkwardly laughed and he said, you are, you are not an idiot. You are just a teenage girl. You are no idiot. You will have another laugh, and he said, I will get you some ice cream. You want your favorite flavor, right? You gave him a smile and said, you know me so well. He went and gave you your ice cream, and then came back. You were actually surprised that he knew these things. Neither your boyfriend did. He never really cared that much, but you always knew what he liked. That felt kind of mean. You guys started watching cheesy romantic movies because 
well, they were your favorite, and right now you really needed them. The whole day had passed, and Ida came bursting to the door saying, You and Toroki, you really missed classes. You and Toroki laughed, and she said, If you weren't heartbroken, Yuen, I would report you to Mr. Aizawa. We guys covered for you and said you both were sick. Then Midoriya came from behind and said, I bring games. Do you want guys have to have a game night? You laughed and said, Yes, please. I will love that. You guys continued the rest of the night playing games. Um, you were beating all of them. You are great for you to know. After that, you were going to leave to your dorm until Rocky pulled your wrist and pulled you closer to him and said, Yuan, if you ever need something, come to me. I will be always here. Got it? Got it. Thank you, Tadaraki. You went to your dorm and closed the door. You then crawled on the floor and started crying. Your friends did a really great job, but you still felt hurt. You quickly went to bed and fell asleep, still with Tadaraki's hoodie on. You wake up by someone banging on your door. You could hear a familiar voice, Bako Okatsuki, the last person you wanted to see right now. He said, Yuan, please open the door. Please, I'm begging you, and I don't beg. You let her shuffle, and you, he doesn't beg for things, but this was really an exception. Wow. You went and opened the door and said, What do you want, Katsuki? He looked at you. It seemed like he had been crying. But you didn't understand why. He was the one who cheated, after all. You saw his expression go mad when he noticed you were in Toroki's hoodie. He said, What are you doing with half and half's jacket? You entered slowly your room and closed the door. He screamed from the outside, but you didn't care. You quickly changed into your school uniform and headed out. You didn't see Katsuki. Maybe he had already given up. You headed to school, and when you entered, you saw Uraka hanging around Katsuki. You didn't like this, but what could you do? You weren't his girlfriend anymore, and you didn't want to be his girlfriend anymore. Toroki quickly came and gave you a hug from behind. He said, Hey, Yuan, how was your day? You understood what he was doing. He was trying to get Bakugo angry and getting him back in some way. You nodded. Hey, Toroki, my evening was good, and yours? He let out a chuckle and said, it was pleasant. Enjoy playing board games with you. You guys said, you could feel the stares from Bakugo and Uraka trying to get his attention. Uh, school was over and you told your friends to go without you. You saw Uraka banging his, her things. You guys were the only ones in the classroom. You went up to her and said, hey, bestie. She looked at you and she said, Okay, you and I'm so sorry. I know that's a bad thing to do, but I really liked him and shut up, Uraraka. I don't care if you liked him. He used to be my boyfriend in that time. You could have just told me and that's it, but really doing that? That's a messed up thing. She was sorry, but still she would not forgive her. It was your boyfriend after all. You let us sigh and said, You are lucky, I appreciate our long time best friend think because then you will be that she had all a chuckle and said Juan, I just want you to know I'm really sorry yeah whatever you have their classroom you actually wanted to hit her but you couldn't how could you she used to be your best friend and it wasn't only her fault it was also Katsuki's so yeah you met in the gate you see a familiar boy Shout out to Rocky. He was waiting for you. What a sweetheart. You ran up to him and said, Hey, Shoto, wanna go? He nodded. Then Katsuki screamed, Yuan, we need to talk. Toroki went quickly in front of you and said, I'm sorry, angry Pomeranian. Yuan is single and she's not your girlfriend, so I don't think you have the right to talk to her because you cheated on her. And now, she doesn't have any need to talk to you. You could see Baku getting mad, but you let out a giggle and just said, Hey, Turkey, let's go. I want to go back to the dorms. He quickly nodded and then glared at Baku and grabbed your hand and pulled you away to the dorms.
Baku was heartbroken, but he knew you should be feel worse. He cheated on you, and you were the love of his life. He was crazy for cheating on you with someone with Uraraka. When you were at the dorms, you went to the kids' room again. You guys played some video games, and he helped you with homework. But when you're about to leave his dorm, he said, You are an, I need to ask you something. You look at him and said, What, Shadow? I was wondering now that you're single, um, do you want to go on a date with me? You were confused, but gave her a laugh. Of course I would love to. Even though it's a little early, you don't have like, like, like two weeks to ask me. He smiled and said, yeah, but then I will lose this courage. He pulled you in for a kiss and you gladly kissed back. <laughs> you let her smile and said, thank you, Shadow. See you in that date? He laughed and said, of course you ran. You headed to your dorm, smiling like an idiot. You were so happy. How something so bad can make something so happy? Ten years later, you were walking through a park. You couldn't be more happy, but you spotted a familiar blonde hair, Baku Katsuki. He walked up to you and said, hey, Yuan, how's life been? You let a chuckle and said, it's been good, but your work has been too hard. He agreed and said, so how is your life now? A small child came running from behind you and grabbed your leg said, Mama, I want ice cream. Bakugo looked down at the child and he noticed some similarities. The first thought he came to mind, half and half bastard. Then, Toroki went from behind you and put his arm around your shoulder and said, Hey Bakugo, long time no see. Bakugo agreed it and said, So you guys got married? You let us shock and said, Of course. You'll raise your hand to see a wedding ring. Shadow did the same. He said, oh, well, it was nice seeing you, Yuan. Glad that you have a family and a good life. You agreed and said, I wish you the best, Katsuki. Let's live the past in the past. He agreed it, but walked away. He was mad at himself. You were the love of his life, and that could be him. Him with you and a kid. He felt so stupid, but he had to say defeat. You were married to... Shoro to Rocky, and no one could change that. You and Shoro had a good life. You guys got married and had a beautiful kid. It was great. Life couldn't be better.